enjoy enjoy your day today holiday good morning everyone greetings coming from Mirna Bacabac Perez Mirna God bless you regards to your status enjoy your holiday and also si sabi pa ni Sister Rebecca Oh, have a blessed Friday everyone God speed maraming salamat Sister Rebecca and God bless you well mga partners um, time check muna tayo 7.21 in the morning dito sa Japan at 6.21 na dyan sa Pilipinas uh, mamayang 7.30 babasahin natin yung ating daily Bible reading sa Psalm 144 na tayo mga partners Psalm 144 malapit na natin matapos ang book of Psalm and Psalm 144 has um, 15 verses and then we will uh, make this an entry point leading to uh, a reflection on the seven saying no? yung It is finished. And Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Ayan mga partners, uh, we still have uh, eight minutes to pray for the concerns of our loved ones there. Mga friends natin, may mga prayer requests at my morning greetings na pumasok coming from Pastora, Virginia. Daria. Good morning and have a blessed Friday, Pastor and family. Good morning, good morning sa inyong lahat. Mayroon tayong Bible verse na Sister Ida shared, no? Isaiah 53.5 But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Good Friday, Pastor, and everyone. God bless. Sister Aida, maraming salamat for this uh, Bible verse. God bless you. And regards dyan sa inyong lahat. And as you prepare para sa mamayang uh, Good Friday service, no? God will empower, empower all of you that whatever God wants to uh, wants to bless his people with spiritual and heavenly blessings everyone will be able to receive and understand maraming salamat sister Aida uh, and for everyone uh, like everyone who, who is preparing for the good friday service mamaya god bless you Well, mga partners, today is Friday, March 29, 2024. Malapit na rin matapos ang March. No? And uh, we thank the Lord for His sustaining grace every day. We praise God for His goodness and faithfulness at maraming... Uh, salamat sa Panginoon for the guidance His presence especially from day to day maraming salamat sa inyong lahat mga partners nandiyan kayo and more of God's goodness and faithfulness will continue to manifest in your lives 
Habang nakikinig kayo mga partners, may the Lord. Uh, anong tawag dito? Inspire you to face the day. Uh, despite ang um, panahon, like sa amin dito, uh, malamig pa with uh, drizzling. And I hope dyan sa Pilipinas, umuulan na uh, in some parts of the country. And uh, I just trust the Lord na you will be preserved, protected from any eventualities. Maraming salamat. Um, si Sister Ida, my prayer request. No, please pray, uh, Pastor and partners, for our family outing today till tomorrow. May God be glorified. Ayan, a family outing till tomorrow. Ah, okay. Wala silang service today. Sunday dawn na. Mm-hmm. Mister. So, God, in the name of Jesus Christ, maraming salamat for I can entrust into your cares itong concern ni Sister Ida uh, as they will have a family outing today. I pray that you will guide them and that everything that they're going to do, I trust you that guide them that these things will be a glorifying one, giving you glory and be glorified and magnified in their midst preserve their lives may the joy that they will experience really comes from you and the joy in their hearts will continue to uh, manifest that everyone who is involved part of this outing will experience the same joy, the joy that comes from you. Maraming salamat Lord for uh, Sister Aida and the team and everyone who will be uh, joining the family outing starting today and tomorrow. Your presence will be there I believe and that you will make them conscious of your presence and I will trust you that more resources will come as you will use people for the resources needed during this outing maraming salamat Lord in the name of Jesus Christ I pray Amen Well, mga partners, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Time check ulit tayo mga partners. Uh, malapit na mag 7.30. It's 7.29 and 6.29 chance sa inyong lahat. And uh, umpisahan na natin mga partners yung uh, second part natin reading uh, Psalm 144. And then we will have a short nang siguro reflection on the six and seven saying of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kasi dalawa yan ang i-reflect natin. Psalm 144. Beginning verse 1. Praise be to the Lord my rock who trains my hands for war. My fingers for battle he is a loving God and my fortress my stronghold and my deliverer my shield in whom I take refuge who subdues people under me Lord what are human beings that you are that you care for them mere mortals that you think of them they are like a breath their days are like 
a fleeting shadow. Part your heavens, Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains so that they smoke. Send forth lightning and scatter the enemy. Shoot your arrows and rout them. Reach down your hand from on high. Deliver me and rescue me from the mighty waters, from the hands of the foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. I will sing a new song to you, my God. On the ten-stringed lyre, I will make music to you. To the one who gives victory to the kings, who delivers his servant, David. From the deadly sword, deliver me. Rescue me from the hands of foreigners, whose mouths are full of lies, whose right hands are deceitful. Then our sons in their youth will be like well-nurtured plants, and our daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. Our barns will be filled with every kind of provision. Our ship will increase by thousands, by ten of thousands in the field. Our oxen will throw heavy loads. There will be no breaching of walls, no going into captivity, no cry of distress in our streets. Blessed is the people of whom this is true. Blessed is the people whose God is the Lord. Amen. Psalm 144. This is a psalm praying for uh, uh, God's intervention for the future of the young ones. So, as the style of David, no, yung pagsulat niya, praying, ilatag mo na yung sino si Lord, no? tapos anong anong nagagawa ni Lord, and then hihingi na siya, and then presenting. Uh, the motivation of his prayers. So, yun ang sequence, mga partners. Nilatag niya muna kung sino si Lord. He prays God. He prays the Lord as the rock. In acknowledge na that it is God who trains his hands for battle. He acknowledged that God is his deliverer fighting I mean, fighting for him, and sinulat uh, dito sa verse three and four that God is mindful of men. Ano lang man daw yung tao that God cares for them. Mere mortals, but God is thinking of them. God is mindful for the people. So, ang prayer ni Haring David is that God will uh, bless the mountains or the fields and uh, scatter the enemy and rescue them from uh, the foreigners, from the sinful people. As God will answer his prayer, will manifest his power, he will sing a new song because God will give him victory and have been given him the victory. And then, ang result dyan, our sons in their youth will be like nurtured plants. Nurtured plants. Even the daughters will be like pillars carved to adorn a palace. So, 
blooming no? their youth yung next generation from David especially mga youth they will be a blessing and that provision will be available as God will increase uh, their sheep cattle and as God will bless their uh, crops you know? and then during the time sabi pa ni David there will be no breaching of walls there will be no uh, captivity nangyari ito mga partners during the time of Solomon dahil uh, si Solomon in his uh, reign uh, wala masyadong gulo wala nang gulo and uh, tawag dito ang neighboring nations na tagam na no? parang naano na nila sa power ni God natakot na rin sila sa mga Israelites uh, that is why uh, Solomon during the time of Solomon na nakatayo yung temple no? the sanctuary the temple of God dahil wala na nga gulo uh, but after the time of Solomon ayun nagkagulo ulit because they do not follow the steps of their ancestors yun talaga mga partners kapag walang mag continue and uh, obey the Lord gulo talaga ang pwedeng mangyari. Well, mga partners, with the disobedience of the Israelites, lumawak naman at the salvation uh, have crossed the borders. Yung lumabas and God extend His grace Uh, extended his grace towards uh, Gentiles. So, pagdating ni Jesus Christ, dito na nag-umpisa. Because in John 1.11, he came to his own, but they disown him. No? the people of God disowned Jesus Christ when he came but to them who believe and receive God gave them the right to become his children or God's children so patuloy yung disobedience from generation to generation ng mga Israelites until in the fullness of time God sent his son because he loved the world he loved the people God loves the world so much and he sent his son he, his son came you know, in the person of Jesus Christ to accomplish the plans of God ang plano ng Panginoon is to restore his people not to be a one nation but a one body the church of Jesus Christ so Jesus Christ came to establish the kingdom of God but una una he came for his own people Nyan, talaga, to rescue God's people, the chosen one, the Israelites. But these Israelites disowned him. And God said, Hanapin yung mga hindi kasama. Or in other words, hindi mga Israelites, the Gentiles. Naalala niyo yung story ng The Great Banquet. A king prepared a banquet and for those who were invited, they have many excuses. No? Invited na sila dahil kilala sila ni The king uh, knew them. 
they were invited but they have all excuses so what the king did he told the servants go outside and invite everyone you see even lames blinds uh, any any form of human being or types or tribes any form all walks of life during that time sabi ng king bring them in bring them in and enjoy the banquet because yung mga invited guests hindi sila dumating yun ang parable mga partners uh, to give us the idea paano tayo napasama sa kaligtasan dyan kay Jesus Cristo. Well, mga partners, this is uh, leading us to reflect on the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Especially, Lord, especially the words it is finished. Tetelestai. So, one might ask, bakit sinabi ni Jesus Christ, it is finished or tetelestai in, in Aramic or uh, ano ba to? Aramaic. Aramaic, Aramaic or Aramaic. In Aramaic, tetelestai means, uh, can also mean it is paid, it is done, it is finished. Pero paid ang close uh, meaning no? sa tetelestai so everything or it is paid sabi ni Jesus Christ it is finished hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus Christ kung ano ang natapos kung ano ang itinapos niya kung ano ang binayad niya at that time but Having learned his ministry, nasa mind niya that he came to save the people through sacrificing himself. Yon ang kabayaran para sa kasalanan ng mga tao. To think, mga partners, the penalty has been paid. The penalty of sin, God's wrath, the consequences of sin, bayad na. Lahat ng claims ng kasalanan binayaran na through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ when He died. Kaya yon ang nasa mind ni Jesus Christ. He came to seek and to save the lost. At binayaran niya na yung dapat bayaran So, kaya nakapagsabi siya na it is finished. Tetelestai. Bayad na. Nakarecord ito mga partners sa John. 19 Now Good Friday every year diyan natin pinipreach yan It is finished Dahil uh, 
kasama yan sa seventh saying of the Lord Church I mean of the Lord Jesus Christ now it is finished yun nga bakit sinabi ni Jesus Christ yun it is finished what does that mean for you and me Um, there are times you don't need to say a lot to mean a lot. Few words, few words can mean a lot. So this one, it is finished. Ang daming pwedeng uh, ikabit dyan or implication or impact no uh, parang uh, package yan eh. it is finished package and uh, yung verse na binigay sa atin ni sister Ida by his wounds we are healed by his stripes we are healed tapos na tapos na bayad na we are already healed ang problema lang dyan mga partners anong classing areas or in what areas that we are we have been healed we can say we have been sick spiritually We have been sick emotionally, intellectually, and all aspects of our lives. Our mind could be sick. So, lahat ng mga sicknesses. The healing is already there. The healing is available. Anything that hinders the healing process, binayaran na. Binayaran na. That is why doon sa sinabi sa Isaiah, ano ngayon sabi sa Isaiah? By His stripes, we are healed. Now, hindi lang yan sa healing. Uh, sa mga yung ano din, uh, spiritual being natin, we are sick. We need of forgiveness. We need to be forgiven. And our lives also, na walang kabuhay buhay, no? Uh, ang description jan, God redeemed us, no, through the blood of Jesus Christ from darkness to light. Kaya nangyayari na yung mga ganon partners, yung mga uh, yung transformation, mga nagbabago ang buhay, because Uh, lahat ng um, pwedeng mangyari in the kingdom of God lahat ng dapat babayaran bayad na it is finished it is paid ito yung assurance dyan mga partners no may problema lang tayo because uh, these words it is finished hindi siya known sa mga believers or sa mga tao you imagine 
every year lang yan or once a year lang pinipreach yan it is finished so how about yung mga tao na in 5 years time hindi na narinig yan kaya malaking struggle yan that's why these words has to be preached not just Good Friday I think pero when you share the gospel kasama ito for us na nagkaroon ng time to learn presentation gospel presentation through evangelist evangelism explosion itong it is finished is one of the illustrations to explain what God has done so it is finished we are washed by the blood of the Lamb we are cleansed by the righteousness of God we are redeemed from darkness to light and we are redeemed from the hands of our enemies from evil one lahat na yan bayad na in other words we have now the freedom we have been liberated from any evil forces from any strongholds We are redeemed people because of the finished work of Christ on the cross. Yan ang pwede kong ishare sa atin mga partners on that saying it is finished. So wala ka nang gagawin because you have received and accepted what Christ has done and you have received and believed Christ himself as the savior tapos we can live our lives knowing that God is mindful of us and he cares for us and sabi pa ni sino pa yung pastor na inchik uh, kalimutan ko pero CCF ata sabi niya if a Christian continues to sin and does not feel guilty about it That's questionable because a true believer or a Christian, a follower of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is in the process, in the process to have that full recovery from any sins. In other words, with the cleansing power of the Lord Jesus Christ. God is transforming His people, transforming us to holiness. In other words, kung nafe-feel tayo ng guilt every time we fail, it is because we are saved and we are cleansed bayad na yung dapat natin bayaran and our part is to continue on living in freedom that's why where the presence of the Lord is there is freedom where the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom so ang gagawin natin is to live 
for God, live with God, enjoy life with God. Yun ang pwede natin gagawin. Because for our salvation, wala na tayong magagawa doon. It is God who is saving. It is God who saved us. It is God who paid everything that we need to be we need to pay. Even kamatayan natin namatay na si Jesus Christ. It is finished, mga kapatid. Done. Until such time you will reach to the point ng sinabi ni Jesus Christ into your hands I commend my spirit. Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Maraming ano dito mga partners uh, implication and the significance of this uh, sinabi ni Jesus Christ into your hands I commend my spirit bakit kaya hindi body or life no? yeah, bakit yun, yun ang tanong bakit spirit Okay, and then, ang verse continues. When he had said this, he breathed his last. Mm-hmm. Now, observation lang mga partners. After saying that, Anong nag-stop sa kanya? Ano ang nawala sa kanya? The breath. The breath of life. Now, and then another question. What did Jesus Christ uh, commit to the Father? His what? Spirit. His life itself. His life itself. So, dito mga partners, makikita mo. Our spirit is life. And this life is the breath of life. Two things ito i-consider mga partners. Spirit and breath. So, when Jesus Christ committed His Spirit, He breathed His last. Ibig sabihin, last breath. Luke 23 verse 46 Luke 23 verse 46 Okay uh, Babasahin ko sa NIV Luke 23:46. Etong. It was about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. So, ibig sabihin bayan mga partners, yung three in the afternoon, uh, alas stress ng hapon. Anong araw kaya yan? I mean, kung sa Calvary, in J- 
Jerusalem or Jan Sabandana sa Middle East uh, kung 3 o'clock in the afternoon sa kanila ibang oras yan sa other part of the world no? ibang oras other part of the world kaya kung detalye talaga ang if, if gusto natin uh, sundin na detalye talaga yung oras uh, hanapin pa natin yung time clock ilan oras ba advance tayo sa Middle East or sa E doon sa sentro talaga sa Jerusalem sa Israel hanapin natin ilan oras ba yan late tayo or advance kung dit detalye lang natin but we are following the 3 o'clock in the afternoon no? pero malamang araw yan of course because the sun stopped shining and the curtain of the temple was torn in two Jesus called out in with a loud voice Father into your hands I commit my spirit when he had said this he breathed his last so nauna yung pagkasabi dito the curtain of the temple was torn in two so this is another another study na kailangan but ito yung glimpse lang the curtain in the temple yun ang uh, it divides the holy of holy and holy of holiest place in the temple dyan sa holy of holiest only the priest could enter once a year to perform bringing all the the sins of the people with a sacrifice offering sacrifices offering no offering ng mga tao bringing these offerings into the presence of God for the remission of their sins uh, para sa kapatawaran or covering of their sins so the priests siya lang ang makapasok and the priest could could have died no kung magkamali siya doon so that curtains divides the holy of holiest place sa temple so in other words hindi lahat ang makakapasok doon because nandoon yung presensya ng Panginoon so the significance of this turn uh, uh, itong curtains was torn into two it opened now to all the people. So, binuksan na ang curtain or yung gap into the presence a uh, place of holy of holiest where the presence of God. So, anyone can come into the presence of God presenting his offerings presenting his requests asking for forgiveness anyone can come now into the presence of God so by that time wala na silang priests the role of a priest tapos na the role of a priest tapos na because anyone now can come into the presence of God through the Lord Jesus Christ because when he died he torn the no, curtain that hinders or yung that blocks the holy of holies that divides the holy of holies tinapos na ni Jesus Christ that is why he became 
the great high priests. We are no longer worshipping in a temple. When the Lord Jesus Christ came, a time will come that they that worship the Lord will worship in spirit. God is a spirit. They that worship the Lord must worship in spirit and in truth. Now, when the Lord Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, Jesus Christ. Kaya kung babasahin mo sa Hebrews, Jesus Christ is now our high priest, the great high priest. He is able to present us in the presence of our God faultless, blameless because of what He did on the cross. He died to give access to the Father. So ang kamatayan ni Jesus, mga partners, hindi lang to pay the penalty of sins, hindi lang to to give access to God's healing, but His death also open the gates of heaven. Yun ang significance dito mga partners sa kanyang kamatayan when he said I commit in thy hands I commit my spirit. But dahil bago ang nangyari yun there was darkness and the barriers the curtain that separates the place holy place and holy of holies was torn into two and everyone can have the access into the presence of God through Jesus Christ the high priests kaya si Jesus Christ is now interceding for everyone who come into the presence of God tapos na yung offerings tapos na si Jesus Christ na ang naging final offering he died once and for all it is finished your sins are paid you are redeemed it is finished and through the death of Christ we gain access to the Father His death justifies us ang ganda ang nang pagkasabi dyan sa Romans chapter 5 mga partners huh? Romans chapter 5 Romans chapter 5 babasahin natin yan Verse 1 Dahil naniwala tayo no, si what the Lord Jesus Christ has done Itong sabi ng Romans 5 verse 1 Therefore since we have been justified through faith no, through faith no, through faith talaga dahil hindi naman natin naabutan si Jesus Christ hindi naman natin naabutan yung temple nalaman natin nalaman na lang natin the significance of the temple the significance of the death of Jesus Christ nalaman na lang natin and we put our hope and trust and confidence in the Lord Jesus Christ having faith believing that all those things nalaman natin uh, nangyari so that's why we have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ so since we have been justified through faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ through whom we gained access by faith 
into this grace in which we now stand. Access. Access by faith. So, that's why we can worship God anywhere even we are alone we can worship him through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ we have the access to the presence of God through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ Bakit? Jesus Christ paid it all and his death his through his death the curtain that divides the holy and holy of holies was torn into two and the priests no the priests the role of the priests tinapos na ni Jesus Christ because the priest will no longer present the offerings of the people present the sin and guilt offerings siya ang magrepresent into the presence of God tinapos na ni Jesus Christ the role of the priest he is now the great high priest in the order of Melchizedek in the order mga partners means yung ginagawa the role or ginagawa ni Melchizedek being the priests and later dumating doon uh, sa Old Testament priest and hanggang uh, before years or few years before Christ died ganun pa rin yung ginagawa ng mga priest but when the Lord Jesus Christ died it was the day that the role of a priest has stopped because Jesus Christ through his dead opened the curtain that uh, that blocks the people to come into the presence of God. So very ano siya mga partners, no? I'm sharing this uh, in the perspective of medyo ano na siya. Eh? In my understanding, very theological issue. But I hope mga partners, this helps us to understand that we are blessed more than you know, that we think we are. We are blessed. We are justified and we are now at peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ and we have gained access by faith into this grace that in which we are now we stand kaya mga partners what a blessed day when the Lord breathed his last and when he committed his spirit into the hands of the Father the death of the Lord Jesus Christ gives us access to the Father. Anong response natin dito mga partners? Simple lang. Be thankful. Grateful. Yun lang. Express 
our gratitude in worship and by living our lives according to what Jesus Christ has started in our lives. Bago ako mag-close sa ating devotional, I want to read to you Philippians 1.6. Philippians 1.6 Ito mga partners dahil may napansin ako lately dito Philippians 1.6 Yung verse na Being confident of this that He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Mga partners, ako, ganun din noon. nag start lang ako magbasa dito sa He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ. Pero, ano bang naumpisahan ni Jesus Christ sa buhay ko? At paano din ako nagkaroon ng access that the good works, anong good works ni Lord na ginawa niya sa akin? So, to answer that mga partners, ito na yung reflection natin. His death, giving us life eternal forgiving us, cleansing us yun ang mga good works na ginawa ni Jesus Christ at even until his day ikakompleto niya yan but wait mga partners but wait ito ang prayer ni Apostle Pablo kung umpisahan mo basahin yung verse 3 I thank my God every time I remember you No, mga Pilipians believers in all my prayers for all of you I always pray with joy so masaya si Apostle Pablo no? when he prayed for the people of God because ito mga partners ito ang nag sa akin when I preach this because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Tingnan mo yung word partnership in the gospel. Partnership in the gospel. The gospel simply means the Lord Jesus Christ. He came, died, buried, and resurrected. That's the gospel. The gospel itself is the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, partnering in the gospel. Partnering. Kasama mo si Jesus. Si Jesus kasama mo. Partnering. Now, from the first day until now. Now, yung panahon na sinulat itong Philippians, book of Philippians now. But the first day. So, my day talaga pala, mga partners. My day, kailan ang isang tao naging partners with the gospel. In other words, naging partner with Jesus Christ. In other words, we believe the Lord Jesus Christ, making Him Lord, making Him Savior, and living the life with Jesus Christ. Partner in the gospel. Sabi na Apostle Pablo, verse 6, being confident of this. No, ito yun, confident of this. He who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ. Grabe mga partners. I hope You still remember, you can still remember the day or the year that you partner with Christ. When you made the decision to surrender your life to Him, making Him Lord and Savior. 
of our lives, believing and receiving, accepting Him as Lord and Savior. That day we became what? Partners with the Lord Jesus Christ in the gospel and everything that the Lord has started in our lives ipagpatuloy yan ng Panginoon until the day of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, another importance you know, to think of it is the Lord Jesus Christ who is working in the lives of those who made Him the Lord and Savior of their lives. Kung nagbabago man tayo, mga partners, God is fulfilling His work and completing His work in our lives through our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, mga partners, tulad ng sinabi ko last verse na yon, I hope nagkaroon tayo ng idea and we will stand grateful thankful for all that Jesus Christ has done even his in humility willing to die even dying on the cross I hope you are now in partnership with the Lord Jesus Christ and you can have that access into the presence of God through faith in Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for these blessings. Thank you for you are so good. That you never leave your people nor forsake your people. You are making a way and you made a way and established your kingdom that anyone can come into your presence through faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. Maraming salamat, Lord, for these blessings, for this truth in the Bible. So thank you, Lord, for Jesus Christ. Thank you for the access and thank you because anytime, anywhere, we can call upon you and we can come into your presence with thanksgiving in our hearts. In the name of Jesus Christ. Maraming salamat, O Lord. Thank you. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for making me part of your kingdom. Thank you for the access. Thank you for what the Lord Jesus Christ has done for me and for the people. Be glorified and magnified, Lord, as you continue to trust you for our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, mga partners, dahil holiday naman dyan sa Pilipinas, medyo extended talaga, more than 20 minutes. Anyway, habang nandyan pa kayo, maraming maraming salamat. God bless you. And tingnan natin kung may mga may pumasok na ano. Ito. Uh, sabi po ni Sister Aida, thank you Pastor and prayer partners for praying with us and for us. Praying for all of you too. God bless. Ito sabi din ni Pastor Henny. Uh, good morning Pastor Gil and family and to all prayer partners here. God is good. Joyous Friday to all. Prayer for attendees, no? Sabi ni Pastor Henny, prayer for attendees. We plan to join you on Sunday, but I regret to inform you that we cannot join your dawn worship due to the unexpected circumstance. We will travel to Bohol tonight. Lord willing, the sister-in-law of Pastor Larry pass on to the glory 
3 a.m. this morning. Mm-hmm. Our condolences to Pastor Ra- Larry and family. We appreciate your prayers for God's traveling mercies and favor, comfort and peace to the buried families. Thank you, prayer partners. Pray muna natin ito mga partners. Lord, thank you for I can entrust into your cares. The MS Larry with Pastor Henny. I pray, O oh God, that as they travel, they will continue to experience your grace and mercy. And I pray for your provision and praying for comfort and understanding for the bereaved family. Especially for Pastor Larry as he ministers to his loved ones in Bohol. I pray that you will use them and make them a blessing. Maraming salamat Lord for I can entrust this concern into your cares and declaring for comfort for the bereaved families. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, Pastor Raheni. Ito, sabi ni Pastor Raheni, Pastor Gil and all prayer partners here. I'm encouraging everyone again to pray for covering for us. We will travel to Ball tonight. Ah, ito, natapos na natin ito ipag-pray. No? So, God is answering our prayers. And ito pang prayer request. Lord, thank you for I can pray also for uh, your provision as uh, DMS with Pastor Raheni will coming back on Monday for the regional forum on April 3 and 5 at Mount Moriah, Malay Balay City, Bukidnon. Praying for your guidance, provision, and strength and for traveling mercy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Ito uh, sabi ni Sir Aida, Thank you. Amen and Amen. Uh, amen. Dagan salamat, Pastor Gil, for the spiritual enlightenment today. I'm truly blessed. I'm forever grateful to God. Hallelujah. May God bless you even more and more. Use you mightily to bless and touch more lives to glorify God. Amen. Maraming salamat, Pastor Raheni. Good morning din kay Ma'am Jocelyn. No? Blessed Friday, mga partners in the Lord. Amen. Good morning, Ma'am Jocelyn. God bless you. Enjoy your holiday and... Uh, As you reflect the goodness of God, may He reveal Himself to you in some or many ways. Maraming salamat. God bless you. Sabi pa ni Brother Leo Labonita, Amen to God be the glory. Good morning and regards dyan sa inyo, Brother Leo Labonita. Maraming salamat na indyan kayo mga partners and uh, have a blessed Friday. Thank you, Pastor, for the insights of the last words of Jesus. Indeed, refreshing talaga. God bless you. Maraming salamat din, Sister Aida, for God has used you, you know, to remind me and to suggest na for the reflection sa ating uh, programa this week. Maraming maraming salamat. Sister Aida, God bless you. And also, dagang salamat sa pag Pastor Gil and prayer partners. God answers our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, my partners, you are all very much welcome sa ating programa. And welcome na welcome kayo as we pray for one another. Maraming maraming salamat mga partners. Nandyan kayo. And God willing, tomorrow morning, we will have our program again. Getting connected with you. Same time, same page. Dito sa programa natin, Morning Prayer and Praise. Uh, before I go, salamat muna sa mga nag-share sa ating program today. Pastor Henny, Pastor Virginia, Mirna Perez, Sister Aida, Rebecca Cabrera, and others who have shared our program. God bless you. Basahin muna natin yung mga names na dumaan sa atin with their reactions at nag-iwan ng reactions. Perhaps some of... Uh, those na konektado pa ngayon uh, with hearts reaction Henny LM, Ping Judilla, Mercy Kikuyama GB Maravilla, Wilma Vinuya Arnold Rosales, Aida Perpetua Helen Subido, Mirna Perez and Arl Hardison and Raquel Abos Ramos also with likes reaction Dong Jubilius 
and Nalomotos and Bugs Journey. Maraming salamat mga partners. God bless you. Maraming maraming salamat. Hanggang dito na lang muna tayo mga partners. God bless you. God willing, getting connected with you again tomorrow morning. Ayan. Sabi pa ni Sister Aida, our sympathies, our deepest sympathies, Pastora Henny. Maraming, maraming salamat. God bless you at ang iyong buong pamilya who will continue to experience God's goodness and faithfulness. So, hanggang dito na lang tayo mga partners. Ito ang inyong lingkod, si Pastor Gilbert Bakabak Kamako Missionary dito sa Japan. Enjoy your holiday. God bless you. And now, the love of God and the grace that is in Christ Jesus and the communion of the Holy Spirit will be with us all for the glory and honor of our God and Father both now and forevermore Amen and Amen Well mga partners God bless you Enjoy your holiday